Moving on to our next content block. We're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to go to common blocks. We've already done paragraph, heading, and image. I showed you guys quote. I'll show you that again really quick here. Um, a quote you can put in. You can put in something that you want to stand out. Your quote goes here. You can put in an actual co uh, quote if you want and somebody's name. Now let me show you um, another, if this will just kind of be indented like that. Another way to do it is um, you can make it large like this. And so I showed you that when we did the paragraph as well. So let me go ahead and show you um, another one here. Let's go to add. And let's do this divider with back to top. Oops, I'm sorry, that's most used. Go to common blocks. I want to stay in order here. Let's go to image. All right, let's, let's upload an image. Okay, so we've got several options here. We can insert from a URL. We can pull from our media libraries, pictures we've already uploaded, and we can upload a new image. So I'm a big fan of Canva, and you can head over to the lesson plan where we talk about how to, how to make um, blog featured images, Pinterest featured images, YouTube thumbnails, all from Canva. So let's just say we're going to go ahead and let's make one really quick for this blog post. So WordPress Gutenberg. Oh, I actually already have it. So let me go back over here. Let me make sure it's sized right. So I'm going to go to my um, desktop and right here, WordPress Gutenberg. Now, we don't want this to be a humongous file because it will slow down our load time of our blog post, which will hurt the user experience and hurt our search engine rankings. So I typically will go up here to tools, adjust size. I never want it in a PNG. I don't want a ping image on my blog post. Those are usually too large. So I'm going to make this JPEG and I'll put 1024 by 1024. And then I'm watching right here where it's calculating the size. It was 1.1 megabyte, way too big. Anything over like 300 kilobytes is going to be too big. So if it's got megabytes in it, it's going to take forever to load. You don't want that. So I resized it. And as you can see here now, it's going to be 82 kilobytes. I'm going to click OK. That's perfect. We'll exit out of there. Go back to WordPress. OK, image. So we're going to go to upload. All right, here's the one we just did. WordPress Gutenberg, 305 kilobytes. Is that the one? OK, maybe I didn't resize it as small as I thought I was going to, but that's fine. 305 is fine. I'll click open. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little um, a bonus here, a little SEO guide. First of all, when this image loads, by the way, it's going to be kind of pixelated. So what I always do is make sure I go to a full size and it sharpens that right up. And I like to put mine in the center in case it's not exactly the right dimensions. Now for SEO, let me show you what to do with this uh, documentation here. And if you go over to the Balan method uh, for SEO, you're going to see this, this in there as well. But so WordPress Gutenberg, the alt text describes the image to somebody who cannot see it. So um, Lori Balan is standing, smiling. With her hands grabbing her jacket. There is a solid dark background. In the corners are peach and bright green swirls. WordPress logo is peach and letters spell out. WordPress Gutenberg. Okay. 
So this is purely to oh, content blocks overview. Okay, so it might be for somebody that's visually impaired. They're not going to understand probably the connotation to peach and green, but it might be for somebody that can normally see, but for some reason at that moment they can't, and they're using some sort of a, of a reader to tell them what it's about. So as best as you can, describe that image to somebody who cannot see it. Okay, now um, we can put this in the video in the image editing itself. So we'll go to the media library and we'll paste it in so that it'll show up every time. Also, the caption this appears underneath the image if the image is on your main page or used somewhere else in the theme. A caption may appear. So I might put learn how to use. Actually, um, I'm going to put WordPress Gutenberg is a, and a new editor on the content management system. Okay. And then down here where you have description, this is like, let's just say somebody's seeing that image on Google Images or somewhere else, and, and you need to tell them kind of like what, what happens when they click through on that image. This is a blog and video about how to use WordPress Gutenberg content blocks. By Lori Valen. See, so they aren't all the same. Now, granted, I've gotten lazy myself sometimes, and I'll just copy the title down, but that's really not the accurate way to do this. And if you want the ultimate search engine optimization, you want to have these done so that wherever that image shows up, the right thing is appearing at the right time. And they're just not all the same. All right, so then we're going to click select. Okay, now see, there's our caption. WordPress Gutenberg is the new editor on the content management system. So that really is a best practice if it's done well. All right, so that is how we use the image content block. And remember, you can move this around. It's okay, drop it in wherever you need to drop it in and you just move it, which is one of my favorite things um, about Gutenberg is the way we can drag and drop these um, content blocks and move things around. All right, stay tuned for the next video. We'll cover the next content block.